Hello, 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 my cash stuffing buddies, and welcome back. I'm Ellie, and I'm on Earth, and I love to do savings challenges. And today is game time, so we're going to play little savings games, savings challenges. And I have Duck Duck Goose here. This is from Reinventing Renee, and this is for my house insurance. And I'm going to say I'm here, or maybe I was over here somewhere. So let's go with 15. So we'll go duck, duck, goose. And I got all my goose. Oh, you know what? My husband suggested maybe I, if I had something underneath it, it might scratch off easier. Uh, it's a little easier. I don't know whether it was the paper or there, this is just an old challenge that I've had around. So that's 17. And then duck, duck, goose. Let's scooch that up here so it's on that little Ellie sign. And that's 10. So I need to put $45 in here or close to it. So we can do this one then. I think that's what, 27 we're at. And this is a 20 something. Maybe I just need a better scratcher. And that's a 20. So I'm gonna put 45 in because that's what I need to put in. And I have this lovely nerd herd envelope that I use because I am part of the nerd herd over there. And let's see. How much do we have to go towards this house insurance bill that I really don't like paying? <laughs> I say that every week. It doesn't get any easier, but I got a thousand, five hundred, seven hundred, seven fifty, eight hundred, eight hundred and fifteen dollars saved up for that so far. So that's awesome, awesome, awesome. Now we can get into some other other games. We're gonna start with, um, actually we're gonna start with, All Things Kimberly is doing a group play on Fridays and she sent me this lovely butterfly challenge so that I can play along. And I'm making each butterfly $5 and I've got $5, so. I'm kind of, I want to get some of these other challenges finished. So I thought I'd just start with five on this one. I think it's so pretty. The monarch butterfly. So there's that one. You might want to go over and check her out on Fridays. And then we're going to do the going to Boston. And this one is by Budget and Chaos. I don't know if it's still available or not. Um, I think I got it as a freebie when I ordered a bunch of stuff from her. So I've got 60, $67 to play with for these next two games. As I said, I kind of want to get some of them finished up. So the going to Boston one, we start off with three dice and we're going to go with the highest. And we're going to take a four. And then we get rid of a dice. And then we're, the next highest one is six. And then we get rid of a dice. And then we get a five. So it's 15. Then let's do that again. And we got a five. Take one away. And we got a six. Take one away. And we got a one. So that's 12. So I'm just doing two, so that's going to be 27, which we have. We have 27, which leaves us 40 to play with the next game. So let's see what we've got in this one so far. I like this one. It saves up quite a bit of money. And you can play, you can choose doing the low number, or you can choose doing the lowest number one week and the highest number next week if you've got more money. So I have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75. 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. And I've got basically four more games to play, and I seem to be saving about $25. So 
So that'll be a nice little chunk of change. Again, going to Boston. And no, I'm not saving this to go to Boston. It's just what the game is called. And this next one, I think I want to finish today. I wanted an Eastery one. So this is, I roll, I'm going to roll a red dice and a blue dice. And then I'll, I'll figure out which one. And then the, so if I get a four, a red four, I go over here. And then if I got a one, then I, then I color in that one. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm explaining that very good. But I've had this game in lots of different ch savings challenges. And I do, I do enjoy it. Okay, so we are doing two across and six down, and we haven't done that one yet. And that one is $4. And I don't have my calculator handy. Of course not. Never do. So I can write it down on this little piece of paper. I need four. Okay, let's do that again. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, so we're going into four and two. We've already done that one. We're going to three and five. So three and five is, oh, oh, it's, it's, that's a seven. So there you go. So three and five is the seven. Okay, so we've got 11. And we are doing the Six and five is the little yellow polka dotted one, which is only worth one. So now we're up to 12. What am I doing? I'm doing six and five, okay. And we got a six, no, we got a three across and six down, which is another yellow polka dotted one. So that's one. And we've got four across and two down. We've already done that one. And how about two across and one down? Ooh, that one, that one is the little one with hearts. Oh, did I write down who this is by? I did not write down who this is by. I'll have it in the description though. And I need to write down five. So now we're up to 18. And we got a six across and three down, which is the polka dotted one, which is one. So that's 19. And we got a five and a five. Five and a five is the little flowered egg, which is seven. So 19 and seven is 26. And then we got a four. No, we're doing three across and four down. Oh, we haven't gotten that one. Oh, I guess we started off that one. It's a little striped one. That one's $4. So we're at 30. Oh, I guess we can keep going. So we're at 30. I need to write that down because I'll forget. Okay, we got a two across and five down, which is the yellow polka dotted one, which is one. So we're at 31. And we've got four crossed and five down. We've already done that one. Four crossed and five down. We just did that one. Come on, give me different numbers. Five across and three down is the pink polka dotted one, which is two. So now we're at 33. And I like to get one that's a seven. Six and one is one. Okay, so we're at 34. Need to write that down. And we got a six and a five. Already did that one. No, five, five and six. So five and six is five. So we're at 34 and five. We're just gonna take that and we're gonna add 40 to this game. We didn't get it finished, but I'm going to consider it finished because Easter is in a couple of days and I think I want to start April off with some different challenges. I don't, oh, I guess I still need this. So I'm going to ring my bell. And I have 
saved in this little Easter egg roll. I've saved 20, 40, 60, 70, and 75. I think I'm going to use this. My husband and I are taking a small trip tomorrow. And um, so maybe I'll take that with us and for a meal or that's awful. We'd be having lunch. That's a lot of money for lunch, but I don't know. Or maybe I'll put it, I don't know. <laughs> I can never decide what I want to do with my money. I think it's going to be used for the road trip and then whatever's left over, it can go and travel. How does that sound? Sound like a plan? I think so. Okay. Now we're up to root play. A lot of you have finished. I'm going to use all eight weeks to play. And on my little scratcher, I'm doing the little cocker spaniel. Is that what that is? And I'll just do this one. And I got a two. I don't know if I have two dollars. I do have two dollars. Okay. Put two dollars up there. And then I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to use two dice. And I got a nine. I think this one shows up better. Nine. So we'll put a 10 in and take one out. And then let's see what the dog was going to save us. And a two. I think I might want to roll again. Do I want to roll again or just leave it as it be? If I roll again, then my circles are going to be messed up. So I'm just going to leave it be. So today I saved in group play. I saved $13 and all together I have 13, I have, oh, I got 20s in here. Okay, I've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, and I still have three weeks to go. So if you're playing along, let me know what you saved this week, whenever you play it. And you know, don't worry about it. Some people are just starting it and some people are finished. You know, it's all okay, it's all good. And I wanna show you what I'm thinking. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys give me your opinion. Doesn't mean I'm gonna take your opinion, <laughs> but you can at least give it to me. So I, was thinking of starting these in May and oh, let me let me clean up some of this stuff so I have room to show you what I'm doing let me just I guess I can stay that doesn't need to be there this goes over here sorry about the house cleaning guys okay so I was thinking of starting this in May and we have Memorial Day in May and then this would finish up right before 4th of July, if we were doing eight weeks. So I was thinking of doing patriotic themed. So this is what I'm thinking of doing. Oops. I think some of these turned out really, really good. And these are old postcards for 4th of July or Independence Day. So, as I said, we'd be starting this in May, probably mid-May. I don't know, maybe, well, if we could, I don't know, some, maybe even May, the first week in May, because I think eight weeks will take us to the end of July, so you'd have money for the 4th of July. This is the last one. So there's, there's that. That's what I was, that's what I was planning on doing. And I have a, probably about 80 of these made already. But when I got, my Tumo haul, I got these cards, these sewing pattern cards, and we thought, you know, I could do something with these. And some people thought these would be great for Mother's Day, but there's no way we're playing these before Mother's Day or for Mother's Day because that's just way too soon. And there's 40 different designs, but I'd probably just pick maybe 10. And, um, so you can give me your thoughts. And as I said, I may or may not take your advice. Would you prefer these, some, the sewing or the women in dresses or the patriotic? Because I already have a chunk of these made, 
I'm leaning towards this because I just don't know if I have enough time to get these done and made and out. But you can give me your thoughts. Otherwise, I could make them and put them on my Etsy shop. Or I could save some of them for next year. I don't know. I'm kind of playing around with it. So I'm also thinking, you know, well, I could also set up a subscription service that some of you guys have asked me if I was going to do and something like this could be in there. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm at the point where it's like, okay, you can give me your opinion and I'll, I'll let you know what I decide I'm going to do. Okay. So that's it for me today. Thanks so much for stopping by. Give a thumbs up and leave a comment on how much you saved and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys all really soon. Enjoy the day. Bye.